gonna be a really late thing but it's a little embarrassing but I gotta tell you guys because I I seen on YouTube the other day uh, somebody doing a review of the sweet life y'all if you're around my age you should know this I mean maybe not if you didn't watch this channel I guess or if you're around my age you should know the sweet life is Dag and Cody on Disney Channel do you guys remember that show the sweet life is Dag and Cody with Dylan and Cole Sprouse the two twins and Brenda Song, Ashley Tisdale. If you know like Disney Channel at all, I feel like you should all know this, okay? This is right when High School Musical and shit started coming out and stuff. Anyways, whatever. Well, High School Musical came out a little later than that, but you get my point. So, I was watching a guy do a review of like literally every single episode, which he does amazing. If I remember, I will leak the video down below so you guys can check it out if you want to go rewatch it because I'm not gonna lie he he does it like perfectly he clips just enough of the episodes to make you feel it explains the episode obviously it makes you feel like you've rewatched the episode because when I tell you I remember all these episodes like it was yesterday like I mean every single one of them like as soon as he plays part of it I'm like oh yeah I remember this episode I remember literally everything that happens in this episode okay so, The Sweet Life is Aunt Cody, I forgot what year it came out. I think it came out in 2005 or so. And I was really young. Uh, and me and my little sister, I don't know, we got obsessed with it somehow. I fucking loved it. Which, I even watching it now, honestly, I still laugh a couple times. A week, a couple times, I'll chuckle. I'm like, okay, that's still pretty funny. Okay. So, it's not like it was a bad show. I, I still can't say it was. Because I think it was especially the first season or so. I think it was really good. But, really, for a kid's show, it was pretty good. So... Going back and watching that, God, the nostalgia it brings back, like, it, it literally takes me back like I was there, like I'm there again, you know what I mean? It's crazy, it's so crazy. Like, oh man, and what I love about him is he plays, like, the little clips, like the, you know how uh, they go to commercial and shit, and they'll show the little Disney clips or whatever of before they get back to the show and after they leave the show or whatever. Anyways, he puts in all those little clips, and oh my god, I mean, I remember every single one of those things. I, every single one of these things, guys. Anyways, I'll make sure I link the video. You guys gotta go check it out. If you fucking remember this channel or you watched anything like that, you know what I mean? Uh, you have to check it out because it's fucking, he does amazing. Anyways, so, so one thing about me when I was younger, when I was a little girl, because I was a very, probably because I was a lot more masculine and I was always trying to be like my older brothers for the longest time, the point is, I was obviously a very uh, tomboyish, masculine girl. So, I was never into bullies like that. And not in the way of like I didn't like any bullies, but I'm talking about specifically like celebrity boys. Like boys from bands, you know what I'm saying? Singing boy groups, in sync, backstreet boys, shit like that. Uh, you know, Jesse McCartney and shit. Uh, people like that. You know what I'm saying? I was never really, I never had a crush on any of those people. Like, uh, I mean, literally, you can think of any star, kid star back then, or teenage star, I was not into any of them, okay? Most of my friends, literally almost every girl at least had a poster or two of people like that on their walls. You get what I'm saying? Like, back in the day. Uh, I never, re I never had that. One, I didn't have the money to get posters or shit like that. But two, I just never had a crush like that. I don't know. I just never had a star crush like that, uh, right? Until Sweet Life Zack and Cody, okay? The little sister, she's like four years younger than me, but she used to watch it with me all the time. And uh, we started watching it, and like, uh, I don't know, we became obsessed with it. And so I ended up getting a crush on Dylan, which was more of the little asshole, you know what I'm saying, the funnier one, uh, I guess you could say, the one that was the troublemaker, more of the troublemaker. Becca was into Cody, who was more of the shy, softer type of guy which is so funny because it's so it's so me and Becca like it's so me and my sister because I'm so much more you know rougher and masculine and funny and she's much more softer and feminine and whatever cute you know what I'm saying anyways so 
It's funny looking back at that now. That makes sense why we picked those ones. That was the only star crush I had. I shit you not. Like, my little sister fell in love with Justin Bieber and shit a few years later. You get what I'm saying? Like, she got into One Direction, all that type of shit. She was really into all those boy bands and stuff. She was really crushing on them. And this was a little later, obviously. But back when I was that age, I just wasn't into them like that. I didn't listen to a lot of boy bands, and I just didn't have big crushes like that. The only crush I ended up liking was Dylan, or was it Dylan? Fuck. Zach from Zach and Cody. Dylan Sprouse, I guess. Anyways, it's crazy to find out they're only a few years older than me, which I thought they were around semi-close to my age when I was watching it when I was growing up, but I wasn't sure. It was crazy because I didn't have posters, you know, like my friends had tons of Backstreet Boys posters, it'd see all kinds of, you get what I'm saying, Bow Wow, shit like that. I didn't have nobody like Bow Wow Walls. I didn't have shit like that. But once me and Becca fell in love with Zach and Cody, um, we started, I remember getting like little, those little teen magazines or whatever, and we'd cut out all the pictures of them, and we'd hang them up on our wall, because we were ghetto, obviously. Um, we didn't have money to get like posters, and who could go get posters for that shit, like whatever. I don't even know why we did it, who knows, we were fucking children, okay? Um, anyways, we had like our own, I want to say we had like this window, we had this bedroom, that had this bay window, so that it, you know, the sides of it were, like, turned in partly, you get what I'm saying, or, like, at a diagonal, whatever. Anyways, me and Becca each had a little spot on the wall on each side, you know what I'm saying, for all our little pictures and stuff. Anyways, I just thought it was a weird thing. I forgot all about, I forgot, I totally forgot those memories. Like, um, I just forgot I did all that. I forgot, like, that was my only, my one and only, like, celebrity crush growing up. You get what I'm saying? Like, this only guy, like, I mean, I could say, like, Jesse McCartney, like, yeah, he was cute, but he just wasn't, I don't know, he wasn't, like, my crush, I don't know, I just didn't like him like that, but, like, I don't know, Zach Cody, I actually had that crush for some reason. Um, yeah, but I just thought that was funny, because I totally forgot, I forgot all about that, I forgot that it was my one and only celebrity crush as a child, and I also forgot that, I just also forgot, like, how much I pushed to watch that show, like, we used to watch it so much, like, Bro, he's playing these episodes, and I remember every single fucking episode. Every single one. Actually, there was one I didn't realize I didn't see, and I'm kind of mad about it. But it was technically a Sweet Life on Deck one, but still, I'm kind of mad that I didn't see it, because, like, how did I not? But I was probably so, I was probably so much older by then, I had to be, so I was obviously probably not watching Disney Channel no more. But, uh, yeah, it's crazy to think about. It's so, bro, this sound is just crazy, like... It's kind of weird because it's like almost. And I get this when I listen to certain songs, to be honest. Or like, if I played like a certain old TV show. Sometimes I don't like it. If I end up falling asleep while I was in the room and I like, and I wake up to hearing an old, an old TV show song or theme song is playing, before I fall asleep or I, I guess as I'm asleep or something, and it wakes me up. I don't like it, guys. I don't like the feeling. Like, I can't explain it to you. And I don't know if it's all like the feeling like I'm scared I went back there, you know what I'm saying? Because in a way, because in a way you always kind of want to go back. Because everything seems so much simpler, but at the same time, I really don't want to go back at all. Like, at all, at all. Because uh, it wasn't really necessarily easier at all. Um, but it was in a slight way, as far as, I don't know, it wasn't actually, I don't know, anyways, it's weird, I can't, uh, yeah, I realized I can't, I actually did that to, like, I think it was, like, Rugrats or something, and, like, I heard it as I was waking up, or as I was going to sleep or something, I really didn't like the feeling it gave me, like, it just gave me a weird, I didn't like it, like, I didn't like, I don't know, it's like, an, again, it's like in the store, it's like one of those weird feelings, I don't know, because my shit's better right out of room, so. Talk to y'all later. Bye.